Is Genesis creation story compatible with the scientific cosmological timeline as measured in billions of years? How can one respond to this question debated since the very beginning of modern science? In January of 2007, I've published in the U.S. my book, Coincidences in the Bible and in Biblical Hebrew. A third updated edition of the book came out in December 2012, and the book is available for purchase in the distribution networks and can be downloaded free as a PDF file from my personal blog. An entire chapter in the book is dedicated to statistical analysis of Genesis creation narrative. The statistical analysis was designed to answer a single question. Genesis timeline and the timeline of modern science. Are they compatible after all? Let us try to understand the principle underlying this analysis. The principle is very simple and easy to understand. Suppose that we make 10 measurements of environmental temperature on two thermometers, one on a finite scale and another on a Celsius scale. If measurements were free of measurement error, drawing them in a plot would produce a curve that looks like this. The reason for the straight line is because transition from one scale to another is achieved by multiplying by a certain number and then adding another number. In other words, we obtain an equation of a straight line. In practice, each measurement or observation has an element of randomness and or measurement error. Therefore, an actual a sample of measurements would more likely look like this. In other words, the points now do not align exactly on a straight line, but are close to one. The question of whether the points are close enough to a straight line so that we can state that there is a linear relationship between the two scales, between the two axes, cannot be answered arbitrarily. It requires using statistical analysis that would determine in an objective manner that indeed a linear relationship between the two axes does exist. In other words, that there is a statistically significant linear association. The statistical technique that performs this analysis is denoted linear regression. We can now generalize. If a group of points line up on a straight line, as determined by statistical analysis, a foregone conclusion is that both axes measure the same thing only on different scales. This is true irrespective of whether the straight line is ascending or descending. For example, if I wish to, to determine the location as function of travel time of a car traveling at a constant speed from Tel Aviv to Haifa relative to its starting point, the line will be ascending. If the measurement will be relative to the destination, namely Haifa, the line will go down, descending. In both cases, it is clear that for a car moving at constant speed, distance and travel time measure sensing, though on different scales. In astronomy, it is customary to express distance not in units of physical distance, but rather in time units. For example, 30,000 light years, meaning the physical distance that it would take light 30,000 years to cross. To conduct statistical analysis of Genesis creation narrative, we have defined several cosmological events mentioned in Genesis, for example, creation of sun and moon on the fourth day. Events were defined in terms of two timelines. Genesis timeline in terms of days, scientific timeline 
in terms of billions of years since the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. Is there a linear relationship between the two axes as in the example of the temperatures? We have carried out two separate statistical analyses. Analysis relating to six different events mentioned in Genesis for which there are scientific assessments accurate enough regarding their occurrence on the cosmological timeline in terms of billions of years since the Big Bang. A plot of this point is now shown. On this plot, the vertical axis represent cosmological time in billions of years since the Big Bang, and the horizontal axis represent biblical time in terms of days. Note that according to modern science, Moon and the Sun formed about four and a half billion years ago. Therefore, the two points that represent the greater light to all the day and the lesser light to all the night, Genesis 1.16, are, are displayed in the graph by two separate points. However, because they are close, they are indistinguishable from one another. The probability for the six points to be aligned by random about a straight line, as they actually did, is 0 0.000021, namely two thousandths of one percent. The resulting linear correlation is 0 0.9963. We have performed an additional analysis restricted to only four events for which the scientific chronological time is of high reliability. A plot of these points is now displayed. Based on computerized statistical analysis employing linear regression, the equation obtained from this analysis is now shown. In this equation, Ts is the scientific cosmological time in billions of years since the Big Bang, and Tb is biblical time in days as described in Genesis. Consider that the linear correlation is 0 0.9998. If the points had maintained a truly mathematical relationship, the linear correlation would have been 1.0000, and here 0 0.9998. The resulting statistical significance, namely the probability of the results to occur by random, is 0.02%, namely two hundredths of one percent, low probability by all accounts. The equation presented is stunning in three respects, which bring forth three stunning insights. Insight one. From the equation, one may deduce that day in Genesis creation story is equivalent in terms of cosmological time to 3.0007 billion years. We emphasize this value has been obtained automatically from the computer, from computerized statistical analysis of the data. There was no intervention of human hand here. In all years past, when I had been engaged in database statistical analysis, both in research projects in academia or consulting outside of academia, I do not remember obtaining a statistical estimate the result of a computerized statistical analysis which contains three zeros after the decimal point. Insight 2. The two numbers that appear in the equation are nearly identical and equal to three. This is probably not coincidental, which leads us to the third insight. Insight 3. 
the equation shows that creation starting point, namely Tb equals zero, is 2.940 billion years before the Big Bang. That is before creation of light, which according to modern science, occurred immediately after be, the Big Bang, more precisely 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The statistical model predicts that before creation of light, there was a period of darkness that lasted about 3 billion years. This is compatible with that specified explicitly in Genesis creation story. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Genesis 1, 2. And only later, and God said, let there be light. Perhaps this matter of darkness epoch preceding the Big Bang relates to recent discoveries of dark matter and dark energy, which, according to modern science, represent 95% of all that exists in the universe. In other words, the visible universe probably represents only 5% of all that exists. In my book, I have made a scientific prediction based on the statistical model obtained, that in the not too distant future, cosmologists would probably conclude that creation of dark matter and dark energy had preceded the Big Bang and creation of light by almost three billion years. Time will tell. Interested in learning more about the analysis conducted in relation to the Torah and to Biblical Hebrew? Watch the movie by Mr. Oren Vron, The Torah, Maths Unveils the Truth, which have appeared in two versions, an English version lasting about an hour and ten minutes with Hebrew captions, and the Hebrew version, the first to be produced, lasting about an hour and forty minutes. I am Professor Chaim Shaw of the Department of Industrial Engineering and Management, Ben Gurion University of the Negev, Israel. <laughs>